Hey everybody, welcome back to another LEGO Room Vlog. Jordan here. Today we're going to be doing a whole bunch of stuff in the LEGO Room. That includes unboxing this order right here. I have no idea what's in here, honestly. I ordered this from Bricks and Pieces or Pick a Brick or something like that off the LEGO website. I swear, it feels like months ago and it's going to be some good parts in there that's going to help us fuel some projects here in the LEGO Room. So that's good. Also, we've got to go, that's, that's why I've got my coat on, we've got to go on the road. We've got to go pick up a Bricklink order from Sting Bricks. Yeah, he's a local Bricklink seller. Also, he's got something for us, a gift for us. Pretty excited to pick that up because it's going to help increase the overall organization here in the Lego room. It's something I've wanted for quite some time. And he said, you know what, I got one of those for you and we're going to give it to you with your Bricklink order. Because you've got to pick up a pretty cool Bricklink order from him. And in that Bricklink order is a bunch of cool minifigures for the LEGO City. Yeah, so I'm pretty excited about that. There's also some bricks and pieces and stuff in the, um, in the Bricklink order. So we'll take a look at that too. Can't even remember what's in that because I placed that a while ago as well. Uh, in addition to that, we're going to talk about the LEGO City. In particular, we're going to talk about roads. Uh, i got to continue working on mills plates and stuff like that. Uh, here in the Lego room. So continue building some more road plates. You can see we actually started our city square right here. That looks good with the fountain. That was uh, an idea from Alex. Thank you so much, Alex. Pretty good fountain there. And we're starting to work on that mills plate. Also, we're going to talk about uh, the residential area here. I know the residential area looks like it's a mess. That's because it is a mess. And there's also a whole bunch of vehicles all over the place. That's because they're temporarily being stored there. And also in this drawer right over here, right? Because the downtown core is uh, currently being, well, reorganized and converted to mills. So we're gonna talk about that as well. We're gonna show a different, uh, or a few different options that we have for the residential area in regards to the roads that are gonna go over here. Yeah, lots of stuff to do. I'm really excited to go pick up the Bricklink quarter, and that's going to be the first thing that we're going to do. Why is this car tipped over? Did I just do that? Look at this guy. He's like, I got some money. What up? <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, let's go pick up this Bricklink quarter from Sting Bricks. You know what? Before we do that, I got to correct myself. It's not Sting Bricks. It's Stings Bricks. That's the name of the Bricklink store. And that's where we're heading now. Let's go. So check out this store. It's pretty cool. We got all the sealed sets right here. And look at this, super organized. We got all new parts, all the drawers are labeled, all the bags inside the drawers are labeled. It's pretty neat. They all have their different sort of SKU number and it's all organized here so you can access all the parts when they sell in the Bricklink store. Got some pretty cool parts. I'll show you what we got when we get home. But yeah, this is just incredible. I've never seen such organized pieces for a Bricklink store. It's super cool, all organized by Part type and all have their own SKU number organized by new and used and all labeled it's pretty neat I love it so in addition to the huge gift that I'll show you in a few minutes here this is what we got from the Bricklink store more 2 by 2 bricks so that we can continue to make more mills plates also in this bag here you can see a decent sized bag actually of 1 by 2 slopes in dark bluish gray or dark gray uh, those are obviously good because uh, they're going to be good for our cliff edge, right? Which is awesome. Turn on a few more lights here. So that's going to be good for making mills plates and also our cliff edge. Uh, right here we got more 2x2 two two bricks. Look at, oh, cool. He gave me a decal, too. Look at that. That's a neat logo. That's the logo of his Bricklink store. And look at this. He's like resealed this bag. I actually give him all my bags uh, just because why not recycle? But he's resealed this bag. It's like... It's awesome. It's like a solid reused bag. Now, the most exciting thing that we got from the Bricklink store is this right here. This is a massive bag of civilian minifigures. And then we also got some uh, additional pieces right here that he actually threw in for free as well. So some, some Technic bricks and stuff in there that we can use for mills plates. So he threw those in for us. But let's check out this massive assortment of minifigures. Just a ridiculous amount of minifigures, eh? They're all civilians. Nothing crazy. They only cost a couple bucks each. And obviously it's a good way to add a huge population to the Lego City. Like, how many are there? I don't even know. 
Count them if you want. I can't remember. <laughs> There's a lot here, though. And look at the way that uh, Tim packages them. He's got little identifier tags and everything in there. City Jungle Explorer. And then it's got the uh, item number. So definitely a pretty organized system there. And all these minifigures were in the same drawer, and then he's got them all individually bagged. So pretty cool. So yeah, not a bad uh, BrickLink order. Wait till you see what he threw in. Once again, it's going to be something that's going to be used in the LEGO room to increase the, uh, or our ability, increase our ability to be organized. Yeah, look at that. Not bad. So this is what he got us right here. Oh, it's pretty dark. <laughs> you can't really see in here, can you? Can't really see it, but it's a giant filing cabinet. Yeah, it's, uh, it's late at night. I actually helped my cousin move today. So I've been moving all day and, and also filming videos all day as well. Uh, so I won't be uh, bringing that in tonight. I'm a little bit tuckered, to tell you the truth. I've been uh, <laughs> moving furniture all day, believe it or not. Yeah, you can see my mess of a garage here. But uh, later on tomorrow morning, first thing, we're going to be bringing in that filing cabinet there, and we're going to be organizing some instruction manuals. I'm really excited for that. But yeah, I just got home, and I was doing that on my own. Mrs. Brixie's down here in the Lego room, I think. I don't know what she's up to. What are you up to, Jose? Working on my gazebo. She's working on the gazebo. Mm. Nice. Let's uh, see how she's doing so far. Wow, that actually looks pretty good. So here you go, look. She's working on the Mills gazebo. You're getting all fancy, bringing it up a brick there. Nice rounded shape. Look at all the pieces she picked for it. Ooh. Those look gazebo-like. But yeah. my only concern is that they come out like that. Mmm. I'm sure we could use those. This could support the roof, right? Yeah. Tile it all off or something? I don't know. We can figure something out. Look at that. It's like what? It's, oh, it's not too late. It's 8.35 at night. I don't think you want to bring in a filing cabinet right now, do you, Jose? <laughs> it's pretty darn heavy. <laughs> but yeah, the filing cabinet is going to help us clean up this mess right here. You can see our banker's boxes. We got seven of them total. And also this giant stack right here of instruction manuals. We hope that the filing cabinet can help reduce this disaster here. So I guess you're going to see the creation of the gazebo in this video as well. That's exciting. And that, of course, is going to go actually right here in this corner position on the mills plates that we just built outside of these four modular buildings, which looks pretty good. So we're full steam ahead on the mills project. Oh yeah, we got to open this up too. I forgot about that. But yeah, this is uh, what we got going on so far with our fountain and stuff and the tipped over car. So yeah, just trying to create something cool. We're also, uh, we, well, Jose also picked all the parts to do our uh, corner modular buildings here. They're going to be corner 16 by 32 stud modular buildings, one there and one there. So we're going to be building those, not in this video, but in the very near future. And one video that, or, or one thing that I'm going to be building live here probably within the next week or so is actually the Heart Lake City School custom modular building. It's right there, the Heart Lake City School. It's a single set. But we're going to be customizing our own school and building one of those ASAP. Jose has started working on the roof of the gazebo. I think it's going to look pretty good. Good job, Jose. I love creativity. And that's what we're doing tonight. I uh, actually brought out all of these boxes tonight. So there's a little bit of uh, a dilemma right now. I brought all these boxes out of our furnace room and we're actually having a technician come by over the next couple of days here. And they're gonna be installing air conditioning in our house. We decided to get air conditioning, why is that? Well, last year we had a heat wave here in Edmonton that was like 50 degrees for like a week and it was just unbearable. Upstairs, it was like 30 to 40 degrees Celsius in our bedroom. And we had to sleep down here in like a row in cots. It was absolutely outrageous. We work from home. So we're like, you know what? I think this year we're gonna install air conditioning. So with that said, we had to pull all of those instructions out of the furnace room to make room for the technicians that are gonna install the air conditioning. And I mean, there's not really a point of bringing the filing cabinet down, putting it there, and then having to move it all again so the technicians have room to work in the furnace room. So we're not gonna install the filing cabinet 
in this video because we need to make sure that the technicians have enough room to work. Now, why am I showing you the city right now? Well, because in this video, this whole table right here, going all the way to the Brixie wall, we've got to move this over against the wall underneath the Sith art. So that's going to be a lot of fun. Also, these two tables right here, including the underwater area, have to move against that far wall right there. Why is that? Well, that's because this path right here isn't very wide. And we need to clear a space so the technicians can bring in the stuff to install the air conditioning. But we are super excited because I have never, ever lived in a house with air conditioning. So pretty soon we're going to be able to enjoy the summer and not want summer to go away because it's too hot. Yes, it's going to be good. Funny story for you. True story. Last year when I was editing these videos, some of them were edited in my underwear. Just figured I'd let you know. <laughs> <laughs> we need air conditioning. <laughs> no question. It's probably funny to you guys. You're probably like, why are you getting air conditioning? It's February. Well, of course, if you get it right now, it's cheaper because the air conditioning companies aren't working as hard right now. And also in the summer when everybody's trying to install air conditioning, you literally can't get it. So we figured, well, we better book it here in the month of February so that we don't have to worry about it in the summer. And then when it comes the summertime and it's super hot, we have to turn the AC on. Boom, we got it here. Yes. Uh, I want to show you something in regards to the uh, Lego City Roads in the residential area. Let's talk about that tonight as well. Actually, before we talk about that, I just want to say that I don't think these parking stalls are going to stay here just because there's no sidewalk. So that's probably going to change as well. The, the Lego City is still under construction. But you see the roads that we're building here in the downtown. They're two-way streets, right? Uh, so we're thinking of making one-way streets for the residential area because if I make a one-way street here and a one-way street here, that means you're going to get 16 studs of road here and 16 studs of road here, ultimately reducing the amount of road by one entire base plate in the residential area. Because let's face the fact, we got building, road, building, road, building. So literally, what is that, two-fifths of our area here, almost half of our area is dedicated to roads. So it doesn't really make sense. So I want to change these to one-way streets. How am I going to do that? I built these here, which are uh, one-way streets, and they're only 16 studs wide. You can see they're on base plates. I've got two different models here that I built, one with uh, sort of square curbs, I guess, and these ones here with rounded curbs. Now, do these roads look weird? I'm going to tell you they don't. Because in my residential area where I live, I don't have lines on my road. So in my opinion, lines on the road in a residential area look sort of weird. So I think this is going to work better. But I don't know if I want to do the rounded curb or the squared off curb. Honestly, rounded curb is more what you would see. It's more authentic to residential areas. My whole neighborhood has rounded curbs, not square curbs, I don't think. So I've got to decide if I want to do the rounded curb or keep it consistent with the other parts of the city and do the square curb. Uh, I want to show you the poll that I currently have going on my Instagram in regards to this dilemma. All right, so here we go. This is my Instagram story. I said one-way streets for residential, curb style, square or round. Uh, let's click on the stats here. So it looks like this uh, has 18,600 views, uh, 2,822 people voted for square and 1,336 people so far have voted for round. So it seems like square is definitely the main opinion of people right now based on the Instagram story. I don't know though. Do they know the reason why I want to make it round? Because it'd be more authentic to neighborhoods that I'm used to. I don't know. I'm sort of leaning toward uh, rounded, but I mean, you can still add some pretty good detail with the square, too. Maybe a combination of the pair would be the best. And like one-way street signs and stuff like that, that's going to come from our, our extra packs that we have. we got the extra sticker packs. There's all sorts of stickers in here in this drawer. Are they in here? Yeah, there should be like one-way street stickers somewhere in here. I don't know. I've got 
stickers where stickers got stickers. But yeah, there should be some one-way street signs and stuff in here that we'll be able to make. I'm just making a mess rummaging through them here. But we should be able to, hey, those are all those school stickers. But we should be able to make one-way street signs using some of these stickers. And I've got to have them in here somewhere. Yeah, somewhere. Yeah, there you go, look, one way. So we'll be able to make one-way street signs so we make it look authentic, right? So that'll be good. I'll just leave that mess for later, eh? Perfect. Yeah, so that's the, that's the thing. Square curbs or rounded, rounded curbs? I don't know. <laughs> Looks pretty good, though. I can't wait to open up a whole base plate in this area. Well, actually, it doesn't look good. It looks like a mess, but yeah. That'll change soon. I just told Jose that this is a rambly vlog. I'm just rambling away, aren't I? So we continued with a little late night building session. Look at that. The gazebo is looking pretty fresh, I would say. Good job, Jose. It's looking awesome. I mean, obviously we haven't attached the roof yet, nor have we finished the roof, but that's a project for tomorrow. All right, so it's the next morning. I just had some fun with this guy here. Let's see what's in this box together here. Oh, oh those arrived quickly. Nice. That's excellent. Beauty, we got some one by four tiles and also some of the curved tiles. Beauty, those curved ones right there are gonna help us uh, with our mills roads. That's awesome. And this is for our mills plates right here. The one by four uh, bricks with the three holes. Holy smokes, that's a lot of them. How did these arrive first? We ordered these like last week. Remember when I said I, I'm expecting stuff that I ordered like months ago? I can't believe that these arrived before the stuff I ordered months ago. Stuff for like the uh, the big rectangular rock panels, the Mercs or whatever they are for uh, the medieval scene and stuff like that. Wow, that arrived quickly. There's the packing list right there. So 45 of those curved tiles, 400 of the 1x4 Technic bricks, and then 650 1x4 tiles. Not bad. And believe me, we have a lot more parts on order for these, for these roads here. Speaking of that, we got four roads right here. We may as well place those in the city. So now this street goes all the way to the end. Same with this one here. We've got to finish up this one here and then the roads around back. And then all the roads in the downtown core will be done. Then we've got to do the one ways over here in the residential area, get that all changed up. Convert all of these modular buildings onto mills plates. You can see we've started. It's getting there. It's a process. We're getting there though. And then we've got to add all the details to our streets as well. Here's the finished product of the gazebo. You can see we've placed it on the mills plate and we'll also place it in the city. Pretty nice though. Built using our parts from our inventory. Nothing ordered to do this. So yeah, it looks pretty good. Jose did a great job and then we sort of finished it together here. But look at that roof. Doesn't that look good? Got the dark blue and dark bluish gray slopes. The fence elements encased by the different white bricks. Looks phenomenal. Let's place it in the Lego City and then we'll also move those Lego City tables. So now that it's daytime, you can see this filing cabinet. It's massive. Look at it. Five giant drawers. Look how long the drawers are. This thing is going to be awesome for instruction manuals. Thank you once again, Stings Bricks. That's going to be awesome. I'm going to leave it in the car for now because the basement is full of stuff, essentially, and I don't have room for those AC guys. So we're going to leave it in the car for now, and then when they're done uh, over the next couple days here, we'll bring this bad boy into the Lego room and get all our instructions organized. But check this out. Look how wide we made this space right here. I know it doesn't look wide to you, but to me, that's a lot of room. Look at that. Whoa, that's a big hallway right there. Aren't we nice moving the Lego city over for these people? I think we are. It was a little bit of a nightmare. There's a lot of tables buried under here, right? And they've got like big table gaps and stuff like that. But luckily we're redoing all of it to be mills, right? So I think we're just gonna progress with that straight away. Like I, I know I said I'd do it section by section, but I think I'm just gonna build a whole bunch of those half base plate one way roads and just move all of these vehicles out of here and just get started right away. Cause why not? It's already a disaster now because we had to move it. So 
when, why put it back exactly how it was if I've got to re redo it all again anyway, right? But yeah, lots of stuff going down in this vlog. Can't wait to get that uh, cabinet in here and get all these instructions figured out. Start building some more mills plates and just sort of get this place cleaned up once we get this AC installed and can stay cool for the summer. Very cool. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, that looks really good there too. That's a great addition. Finishes off this area. Hey, what do you think of that? Oh, sounds like my cat found some parts. But what do you think of that? It looks good. There's our little vlog. Let us know what you think by commenting below. Remember to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for some more great stuff coming out in the near future. Peace out.